Respiration can be of two types, aerobic or anaerobic. Let's first see what aerobic respiration is. Aerobic respiration is the one which takes place in the presence of oxygen or in sufficient supply of oxygen. So the process of aerobic respiration takes place both in plants as well as in animals and in both of them the process is the same. So in aerobic respiration first is presence of oxygen. Second point is that in this type of respiration there is complete breakdown of glucose. So glucose is completely oxidized to form simpler substances. Complete breakdown of glucose into simpler substances and then energy is going to be produced. Third point is that in aerobic respiration end products are carbon dioxide and water. So carbon dioxide is CO2 and water is H2O. These are the end products and along with these end products there is heat and chemical energy. This chemical energy is in the form of ATP and if we take one mole of glucose molecules we will get about 38 ATP of energy. So shall we write the reaction for aerobic respiration now? So we have glucose C6H12O6. It reacts with oxygen and it gives simpler substances like carbon dioxide, water plus 38 ATP energy. To balance this reaction, I'll write a 6 over here and I think 6 over here, yeah, and 6 over here. So you can check this reaction is balanced now. What are the states? So glucose is dissolved in blood, it's aqueous. Oxygen is again, once it reaches the bloodstream, it is aqueous. Carbon dioxide is aqueous as well and water is going to be liquid. Or gas also, when it is exhaled out, it is in the form of gas. Now let's move on to anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is the one which takes place in absence of oxygen or sometimes when the supply of oxygen is limited. So either in the absence of oxygen or in limited supply of oxygen. In anaerobic respiration, the products are going to be different from what they were in aerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, we got carbon dioxide, water and energy, 38 ATP of energy. But in the case of anaerobic respiration, we have two cases. First case is that sometimes certain parts of plant like fruits, seeds, etc. they can respire even in the absence of oxygen. But that doesn't continue for a long time. That may be for short periods when the supply of oxygen is limited. And in certain anaerobic bacteria and fungi which can only respire in the absence of oxygen, such type of respiration yields products like ethanol and carbon dioxide. So in aerobic respiration, we got carbon dioxide and water. Here we are getting ethanol and carbon dioxide. What is ethanol? Ethanol is C2H5OH. It is an organic compound C2H5OH. One more difference is that in the case of aerobic respiration, 38 ATP of energy was released from one mole of glucose. But in the case of anaerobic respiration, only 2 ATP of energy is released from one mole of glucose. So let's try and write the reaction that is involved here. We have glucose C6H12O6. This glucose breaks down into simpler substances which are ethanol and carbon dioxide along with energy. But here the energy is just 2 ATP. Let's try to balance this equation. So if I write a 2 over here and a 2 over here, yeah, this reaction would be balanced. Another case for anaerobic respiration is in muscle cells of animals 
or even in organisms like tapeworm which live inside the intestines of various animals anaerobic respiration may take place when does it take place in muscle cells suppose you have gone for trekking on a mountain so slowly as you go up your breathing rate increases and various cells of the body they have less of oxygen and more of carbon dioxide so at that point those cells start respiring anaerobically so the products here are different now here we are going to get products like lactic acid and there is no evolution of co2 carbon dioxide we have lactic acid along with energy so here as well two atp of energy is released from one mole of glucose molecules so let's write the reaction lactic acid is a complex molecule so we are not going to write its actual formula we'll just write it like this so we have glucose and we don't have any oxygen this glucose gives lactic acid plus 2 atp here this reaction is what takes place during fermentation this is used to make alcohol etc let's try to answer a question whenever we do any heavy physical work like exercise etc we get muscle cramps what is the reason for that so when we do some heavy exercise at that time the body cells are respiring at a very fast rate body cells are respiring very fast so because of that their demand for oxygen increases so this demand for oxygen is increasing but our breathing rate is not that fast because our breathing rate is not that fast the cells slowly get depleted in oxygen and their co2 or carbon dioxide content increases at that point they cannot undergo aerobic respiration any longer so they have to switch to anaerobic respiration because supply of oxygen is limited so in anaerobic respiration the product is lactic acid this lactic acid when it builds up in the cells of the muscles it causes cramps or pain